first guest is a, uh, a lovely woman uh, starring in a brand new film entitled Monster in Law. It opens May 13th. Here's the one, uh, the only uh, Jennifer Lopez. How you doing? I'm okay. Uh, like always, you look wonderful. You just oh. look tremendous. You light Thank up you. the screen. My goodness, oh. look at that. Thank you. And your hair is a little different now, isn't it? Shorter. It's, it is shorter. It is shorter. Yeah. And it's a, a little lighter than the last time I saw it? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So um, why, why is that? Just I did it for my next movie. Uh, what is the next movie? It's called Border Town. Border Town? Yeah. Oh, it's what's about, that about? It's a drama. It's a little more serious. This is a romantic comedy mm -hmm. that I'm here for today, but that one's uh, about the murders that have been happening uh, in Juarez. Oh, yeah, that's not a romantic comedy. No. no. <laughs> but you, know, you, you raise an interesting point. You say that the movie that you're here for today is A Monster in Law. Yes. Now, now that, uh, that uh, if I wasn't a better adjusted person, that would hurt my feelings. Feelings. <laughs> Why? Because it, it makes it it makes it sound and it gives people at home the impression that you're only here to promote a movie. No, I'm here to see you. That's right. That's you know what I, I come by and visit every so often. You yeah. know that. And it just coincides with the opening of a film. It just so happens. That's right. That every time I come, I have a record coming out. It's for, a coincidence. For a movie. That's right. Yeah. Be because uh, I mean, who's to see? You might be back tomorrow night. That's right. Yeah. If you invite me. What, what are the chances of you coming back tomorrow night? If you invite me. All right, come back tomorrow night. Okay. Now, now. Wait a minute. The, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go. Here we go. No, no, no. And you understand this. You'll understand this. I am going to. Uh, Jane Fonda is doing a big charity uh, event in Atlanta that mm -hmm. she asked me to be at, so right. I can't be here tomorrow night. All right. What about Wednesday? Or what is today? No, today's okay. tomorrow's Tuesday, Wednesday. What about Wednesday. Thursday? Thursday. Um, no. Oh God. No. No. Okay, but this is a bad week. This is the story of my no. life. <laughs> I've heard this, this is since a bad high school, week isn't it? Because yeah. of the promotion of the movie. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like in Chicago and Minneapolis. I'm asking you as a friend. Okay, well, I can be What here. about Friday? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even trying. I am. Yeah. I'll tell you, this week is very, very hectic because the movie comes mm -hmm. out very soon. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm on vacation. And then I got Mother's nothing Day to do this right week. After that. Oh, Mother's Day, yeah. What do you do for your mother on Mother's Day? Oh, um, I'm, I'm trying to get her to come to Miami and be, because that's where I'll be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my grandmother, who's older now. Have a everything. big get together with everybody? I'm, I'm, we're going to try. Yeah. We're going to try. I'm going to try to keep them out of the casinos. Now, <laughs> I remember hearing something about that's your. That's what they'd like to do. <laughs> about your, uh, was it your mother who's in, in a casino and hits a slot machine for like a billion dollars or something? Yeah, for a lot of money. Wow. Yeah. And, and, uh, Not a billion. But it was, I mean, it was... I wouldn't be here if it was... <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. That's not what I... <laughs> Dave, you know that's not what I meant. <laughs> Dave, that's not what I meant. I understand. You know what I mean? I'd be, I'd be relaxing with her somewhere, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, but it, it, so what happened? Mom goes into the casino. She likes to go into the casinos. She loves the casinos. And she likes slot machines. And it's only slot machines mm -hmm. for her, my grandmother. You give my grandmother a hundred bucks, she's there for seven right. hours, really slow. Mm -hmm. But she's there, she's happy. And uh, my mother went in there, and she's been going for years, and she went one day, and she played the slots, and she won, like, a couple million dollars. <laughs> Oh on the God. slots. <laughs> I couldn't believe it myself. Now, I think we talked about now, it last now, time. What happens? Do IRS guys come in immediately and yes. say, we want our tax money? Oh, my God. Well, she t they give you a choice. I don't know if anybody knows this, but they give you a choice of whether or not to take it up front mm -hmm. or to take it over 20 years or right. something. like When it's that big of a, sure. of a win, which hardly ever happens. And, uh, and she took it right away, so she lost a lot of it. Uh -huh. And what, what did she do with the money? I, I'm guessing she gave it to the rest of the family. Yes, right? she did. That's a wonderful actually. thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, good for her. Yeah. Uh, and, and so does that make her want to go back more and more now, or does she Oh, think... yes. Oh, really? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, that's what that creates. Yeah. Uh, you've been married to be a, a year in June, is that right? Yep. How's mm -hmm. that going? That it's going good, thank you very that's much. That's good. And it's... I was right. make it's, it to a year this time. It's salsa. <laughs> salsa. I know it's horrible. I make fun of myself. Salsa heartthrob Mark Anthony. Yes. Yeah. And what do you guys uh, do at home? <laughs> <laughs> what everybody does, I guess. No, I find that hard. Watch to, TV. You, you, do you really watch TV? Yeah. You, 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 you sit, you get TV trays, you get the TV dinners. <laughs> Not TV dinners. You're sitting there watching Jeopardy. No, I watch, um, like, it's, um, I love this show, um... <laughs> Extreme makeover for the houses. Oh, yeah. Home edition. That's right. Sure. Yeah. You watch that. What else do you watch? Um, I watch uh, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> for the Fabulous Five. Okay. Um, I watch The Food Network. Mm -hmm. I watch that. 
you know. What do you watch uh, after the uh, evening news? Or late, <laughs> like the, the 11 o'clock news. What do you watch after the 11 o'clock news? I watch your show after uh, that. Right. You come on right after the news. <laughs> you know, Dave, you know, I've never told you this, and I've been here so many times. Yeah. But it's always so amazing to me when I come here. Why it's just is that? because you just, I was used to watch you. You mm. know what I mean? When, when I was like living in the Bronx and everything. Right. And, and here I am. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's weird. Now, these uh, pictures in this magazine blender, uh, I was, it'll be beautiful photographs, by oh, the way. And, and I was uh, surprised. Now, should I have been surprised to realize, to uh, find out that these were taken by your husband? No, he's a good photographer. I, did, I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah, no, he paints and does photos and all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you like having, does he take a lot of pictures of you and stuff? Yeah, he's, I'm the only one around. <laughs> But that's pretty so great. I get, I get, I get taken a lot of pictures of, yeah. Wow. And you say he paints as well? Yes. What, what kind of stuff? Oil painting? Uh, Oil watercolor? painting. No, he does acrylic, Whoa, and then wait. he does, like, pastels on the thing, and he's really good at it. Well, here's a lovely uh, picture. But there's bad language in this magazine, so I can't show this lovely No, picture. don't. Don't show that. But why is there bad language in I don't in know. Somebody magazine? said that. Yeah. Whoa. Not me. <laughs> David, David, you're on. You're on. You're on. Uh, <laughs> have, have you done any uh, painting yourself? No, I try. I try, and you know, it looks so nice. There's like all the colors and everything, and you get all excited, and you know, but I suck. Mm -hmm. at it. But it's it's not the kind of thing that. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe maybe some people are good at it immediately. But have you thought about uh, taking some lessons or? No, I. Whenever I paint, it comes out gray. Mm -hmm. Like, it always, like, comes out. Everything comes out somehow shades of gray. I think, I think maybe you're over-mixing your colors. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is, like, now I have, I, I have like, a little bit of a series mm -hmm. of grays. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I may be onto something. Yeah. Who knows? You know, some people just do that. And is it, is it abstract, or is it things we would recognize? It's definitely abstract. Abstract, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, on, on big canvases? Um... Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, so you can sell these. Um, Have you thought I, they'll about? They'll only be valuable if I die. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> not no. that bad. No, no. I thought. Well, well, let the public be the judge of that. Yeah. <laughs> you should get them into like a gallery and have a have a showing. And well, I definitely I have like three triptychs mm -hmm. of, of a lot of paintings. Yeah. Yeah. I have tons of gray paintings <laughs> on Saturdays and stuff, you know. But, and I have why is it? Do. I don't understand the gray part of it. Why because it? I don't know what happens. I like start with red. Right. Or well, blue. Why don't, you, why don't you just stop with red? <laughs> you say, okay, this one's red. I know. He always tells me to let it dry. Yeah. Just red. But this is <laughs> this is why I'm not a good painter. He always tells me let it dry, mm -hmm. and I I don't have no patience. Mm. So I keep painting. Keep and I'm like, no, I can make it, it yeah, better if I just it. do yeah, this. And, uh, and, but then, uh, let, let me uh, see how things are going at home. Okay? Yeah. Good, good, good. You know, because we've had this conversation many, many times. And you know I have great feeling and great concern for your welfare. Right. So... <laughs> it just it felt uncomfortable. I have the mic in the back. I'm sorry, excuse uh, me. Yes. <laughs> now, um, but, but things are good, right? I, I, I don't need to worry about your... Thank no, everything's very nice. Thank yeah, you. That's good. I, you're always very concerned. It's yeah. very sweet. Yeah. Thank you. Um, do you do you know Snoop a Doggy Dog? Snoop Doggy. Yep. You'd... I don't know him personally. Oh, you never met. But him. I, you know, I've seen him, you know, over the years mm -hmm. here and there. And and what do you, do you think happened to when it went from Snoop Doggy Dog to Snoop Dog? Do you know anything about that? Any insight there? Um, no, I don't know anything. Now, let me ask you this: Are you still J Lo? Um, yeah, in yeah. some circles. So, some circles. <laughs> what, what, like, what circles? In this circle? Um, are you J-Lo in this it, circle? It depends. If somebody wants to call me J-Lo, then yeah. I am. Yeah. I was always thinking that there would be a tremendous... You've never called me J-Lo, by the way. No, I didn't yeah. feel like I was in that circle. <laughs> <laughs> See, you in this circle. It just didn't feel appropriate here. I always thought that there was a tremendous, in, a tremendous marketing possibility with J-Lo. Did you ever? I thought of that. Yes. Why not? Go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. How are your dogs? My dogs are good. What kind of dogs do you have? I have um, a cocker spaniel, mm. 
um, a cute spin, a little cute. tiny Reina, and then I have a mastiff. Little, what, is, what is the little tiny one? She's a Chihuahua. But a little tiny one. A little tiny one. They're yeah. all like with the, the. No, but she, there's chihuahuas that grow this big, and right. then there's ones that like grow this big. Oh, and those are the ones that are always trembling like that all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> when she wants food, she yeah. stares at you yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have? A, do you travel? You can't travel with the animals like. No, that. I can't. Yeah. I, can't. I, I would love to because I travel so much. Mm -hmm. But um, I learned early on in my career that I couldn't because mm -hmm. it's actually it's actually funny. It's a funny story because I was staying in a hotel. Actually, that I'm staying in now. <laughs> and, um, I was working late one night. I was actually doing the movie Money Train years ago. And I, it's just me and my dog back then. And so I had this new puppy, and there she was in the thing. And um, I come home late one night, and I see this dog um, that looks a little bit like mine with a muzzle on in the lobby behind, like, in jail, basically. <laughs> right? Yeah, got it in a cage. They had it thing. in a cage. And I was like, oh, the poor dog looks like Boots. And I go upstairs. <laughs> I go upstairs. I go in my room. Bootsy! No dog. <laughs> I'm like, where is my dog? Where is my dog? So I see the light flashing and I call downstairs. I say, yes, a message from the concierge. And they're like, yeah, uh, your dog was disturbing the whole floor. We had to confiscate your dogs down oh, the hall. I'm like, god. oh my god. So it was my dog, dog oh. down there. So oh. since then, I've never really traveled with yeah, the dog. Yeah. So and I you, learned early. But you must have, you sued the hotel, right? Oh. <laughs> No. You shut them down, put them out of business. Yeah. No, actually, I did a renovation and I'm staying there again. <laughs> now, this uh, movie, Monster in Law, this is uh, an excellent idea to have uh, Jane Fonda in, in Oh, the my God. We got so lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, she did hadn't you, done a movie you, in a long time. Did you get to, uh, like, know her and, and uh, spend some yes. social time with her? Yes. Oh, my God. We had a great time. She's tremendous, together. isn't she? She is. She's so funny. Mm -hmm. She's so funny and she's so, she still has a sense of humor about life and very inspirational. Great, great intellectual force as well. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. We had a good time. I've been doing a lot of press with her lately and stuff, yeah, so yeah. she's pretty funny. Uh, and in, in, in the film, uh, she pushes your face in a, in a cake <laughs> yeah. and, and knocks you around a little bit? Well, we have a lot of physical comedy yeah. in this movie. Was that you know actually I mean? you or they have a, like... No, it was me. You. It was me, yeah. And, um, you know, she's very method in her method mm -hmm. of acting. <laughs> and I would just beg her not to hurt me. You know? <laughs> Jay, we could do this. You don't have to blacken my eye. <laughs> you know? Uh, it was fun, though. Do you know what the uh, clip is we're going to look at? Yes, we are looking at a clip of when um, Michael Vartan's character, who plays Jane's son, uh, is about to propose. Mm -hmm. We're about to propose to you. To me, yes. Okay, here it is. Uh, Monster in Law opens uh, May 13th. Jennifer Lopez, Jane Fonda. Take a look. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Now that was really you. Get that was me. Oh my God! You're lucky I to had be alive. I cake up my nose and everywhere. It's nasty. I would think so. Yeah. It uh, <laughs> it opens May 13th, and in June your anniversary. Yes. Well, good. Congratulations, Thank you so and have much. a happy celebration. Thank you. Nice to see you Thank again. You, Jennifer Lopez, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.